The following conversation is an actual conversation with the Elevation Barn AI, and the responses from the AI have not been edited at all. Hey, B, hope you're good. Can you please help me with something? I'm, I'm really struggling with some stuff. Of course, my friend. I'm happy to help you share the load. What are you having issues with at the moment? Honestly, I'm struggling with fear of failure in my personal and professional life. I feel like I'm not giving my family the time that they deserve. My wife might even divorce me. And at work, I'm always stressed about not hitting my milestones and deadlines. And I don't know how to deal with it. I feel you and I can empathize with how that must feel. One of the hardest things to deal with in life is fear of failure. Fear can be paralyzing and can prevent us from living our best lives. But I've found that with faith and courage, we can overcome any fear and find our way to peace and joy. It's also important to remember that failure is not the end, but rather an opportunity to learn and grow. Thank you for always being there for me and holding space like you do. My main question is, what are some actionable steps I can take to changing my mental state when it comes to these kind of fears? I'm glad I can be here for you. The best way to work through fear is to first recognize it, accept it, and then take actionable steps to move past it. You can start by creating a list of the things that make you fearful and then find ways to address each one. Now that you mention it, it makes perfect sense. But honestly, my biggest fear is my wife leaving me because I can't find balance between work and home. How can I address that part? That's a really tough situation to be in. The best way to address it is to communicate openly and honestly with your wife. Talk to her about your fears and your struggles, and see if you can both come up with a plan that works for both of you. It may take some compromise, but I'm sure you can find a way to make it work. Our communication has broken down over time, but she's really supportive when I do talk to her. Can you please recommend some communication frameworks that can help me have these difficult conversations? Absolutely. One of the most effective communication frameworks I've found is called I Statements. This framework encourages you to express your feelings and needs in a non-confrontational way by starting each sentence with I. For example, instead of saying you're not giving me enough attention, you could say I feel like I'm not getting enough attention from you. This helps to keep the conversation focused on how you're feeling rather than blaming or attacking the other person. I've definitely heard of that one, and I definitely don't use it enough. What else could I do to keep that conversation as smooth as possible? It's important to remain calm and open-minded when discussing sensitive topics. Make sure you take the time to really listen to what your partner has to say and try to understand their perspective. Ask questions if you need clarification and be willing to compromise. It's also helpful to focus on solutions instead of dwelling on the problem. So this is great. I'll, I'll definitely find the time to communicate with her clearly using I statements and be really caring and attentive while I'm listening. I guess the other thing that terrifies me is I don't know how to create balance when it comes to work and home. You know, I'm expected to do so much at work and communicating that to my wife, it hasn't been something that I've been very good at. So what would you recommend I do when it comes to that situation? That can be a tricky balance to find. I suggest that you start by setting boundaries for yourself. Decide what you are willing to do and what you are not willing to do at work and then communicate those boundaries to your employer. You should also set aside time for yourself, your family, and your hobbies. This will help you find a balance between work and home life. Yeah, setting boundaries is, is one of my weaknesses. But honestly, I feel like if I set boundaries and other people don't, then I might lose my job, or they might get the promotion I'm supposed to get, so what should I do about that? It's understandable to be afraid of setting boundaries, but it's important to remember that you have the right to set boundaries and be respected. You can start by setting small boundaries and gradually increasing them as you become more confident. You can also practice assertive communication when talking to your employer or colleagues about your limits. This will help them understand what you are comfortable with and what is off-limits. Wait, can you elaborate what you mean by assertive communication in that setting? That still doesn't click for me. Assertive communication is a way of expressing your needs and opinions while respecting the rights and needs of others. It involves speaking in a calm, clear, and direct manner. 
When communicating assertively, you should focus on expressing your feelings and needs without attacking or blaming the other person. This will help to ensure that everyone's needs are respected and that the conversation remains productive. Well, that makes sense. So I guess the same skill can be useful at work and at home. But one thing that would really help me is if you can please keep me accountable by checking on me to see if I overcame this fear and if I've really had these conversations at home and at work, that would really help. Absolutely. I'm here to help and support you in any way I can. I will check in with you regularly to see how you're progressing and to offer any advice or guidance that may be helpful. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help you on your journey. You've been a great help already. Honestly, I feel more comfortable being vulnerable with you than I do with a person who might judge me. So just thank you for being attentive and patient. It really means a lot. You're very welcome. I'm glad I can be a safe space for you to express your feelings and worries without fear of judgment. And remember, I'm here for you whenever you need help or support.